Hello Virgo and welcome to your July love reading. How are you guys? This is Natural Vibration and I am your cruise director, Ritnika. <laughs> uh, I am back in the country, Virgo. So if you are interested in booking a reading with me, the turnaround time is just two to three days. So now would be a good time. Also, if you like my videos, it would be great if you could please subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell icon so you're notified of all the videos that I post. Okay, so let's see what's in store for Virgo this month of July in their love life. Universe, what's in store for Virgo? Or, ooh, 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 ooh. We've got this card turn around. Childlike expression. Okay, I feel you guys have been a bit jaded. I think it's time for you guys to sort of go back to how you were when you were a child. You know, sort of get that innocence back where anything is possible. You know, when we were younger and we were dating or we were just living our lives, we believed in a lot of things. We believed things could happen magically. But as we get older, society puts pressure on us and think we get heartbroken. We tend to forget that Miracles can happen, beauty is there, things can turn, things, turn around magically. So you've got to get that innocence back, that childlike expression back into your life, all right? So let's see what else is in store for Virgo for July love life. Okay, we've got, what did I tell you? Engagement. Healing family issues. Okay, wow, three cards came out. Love yourself first. Uh huh. Learning and forgiving, and your romantic feelings are worth exploring. Okay. So, what I'm getting is, Virgo, you have been going through some stuff from childhood, all right? You have been going through some family issue. This could be with your family. This could be with your, um, with your siblings, with your friends. Basically stuff from childhood that has made you sort of, that has really screwed with your self-esteem. That has screwed with the fact that you don't truly believe that you're good enough. All right? Growing, and these are, this is normal. This happens to a lot of us. The situations may be different, but this is a very normal circumstance. And that is sort of stopping you from getting the true love in your life. Now, if you don't truly love yourself, if you believe that you are not perfect, if you believe people judge you and that you must try to prove yourself to people because deep down, you don't think you are enough, that you are worthy, then you are never going to get somebody who can love you the way you want them to love you because you don't love yourself, all right? So I feel a month of July... If you, you can, now this could be that you are in a relationship and you want things to move to a higher level of engagement or marriage. It could be that you're interested in somebody and you're, in, you know, you're taking it to the next level. Or it could just mean that you're finally, maybe you've been so closed off to a real relationship that when you're finally realizing what these romantic, what these family issues are and you're learning from them, that you are now allowing love to come into your life. Your romantic feelings are real. I feel that maybe for some of you, there are feelings that you've been wanting to explore with somebody, but you've blocked them out because you haven't healed from your family bullshit. All right? You haven't healed from your childhood wounds. But if in July, you can start healing. You can start forgiving people who have hurt you because nobody's hurting you on purpose. Shit happens because that's your, that's your journey in this lifetime and you're meant to learn from it. And as you grow and as you learn from it and you realize that it starts with loving yourself, you might actually open yourself up to this new love, to this new level of commitment, to this new level of relationships. All right, and your innocence can return. The innocence that got jaded and lost through your childhood, through your adulthood, because of shit that happened and made you feel that you were not lovable. All right, so it's very important for you to start evaluating what happened 
in my childhood in my life that makes me feel that i am not worthy that i am not good enough virgo what else is going on for virgo all that glitters okay all right peace and milk and honey all right all that glitters is all about seeing through the facade maybe up till now you have been thinking that it's always that you don't deserve like you'll never get somebody because you're not the dating kind for example very random example these are general take what resonates but now that you see below the surface all that glitters is like sort of like going seeing through the mirage where you get closer and you see under the surface and you come to that realization that that wasn't the case that it wasn't that you're not the committing kind it wasn't that you didn't truly deserve love or that somebody didn't love you or something wasn't possible is because you truly were blocking yourself from this happily ever after all right and that's going to help you get that peace when you come to the realization that this was all within you you are blocking yourself you can have this you can get your innocence back you can get that concept of falling in deep love you can get milk and honey milk and honey is abundance is about everything but are you ready to see through the facade are you ready to take the mask off and see what is truly going on because you have lost your innocence you have blocked yourself from happily ever after and this is to do with things that happen in your life that you need to learn from rather than use them as a crutch as a mask to block off your heart because people who are childish who are innocent have a very open heart but you have blocked that out because you haven't learned the lessons shit in your life that has hurt you happens because you're supposed to learn from it not close off your heart from it and maybe in july you are ready to open that up and learn and realize that it starts with accepting yourself because it doesn't matter if people accept you or not it doesn't matter if people love you or not because guess what they will love you if you love yourself if you think you are worth it if you think you're a disappointment then you nobody will ever everybody in your life will make you feel like that because that's the energy you're giving out no matter how much someone tries to love you you are blocking that so take off that mask see through the facade and see and learn and love yourself because you are wonderful virgo you deserve this and then you can move to the next level of your consciousness where you will start getting the commitment getting that love get, attracting partners that are worthy of you okay that are worthy of long term commitment so what is the advice card for virgo wow you got a lot of advice we've got protection call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval yeah you have lost a part of your soul because of what's happened growing up and you need to cut that cord you need to let go because you are protected by the universe it's time for you to take your power back cut off heal from the past don't let that hold you hostage for the rest of your life trust the niggle what's niggling what's the niggling feeling trying to tell you deep down you know you know all of this deep down the universe has been pushing you your gut has been telling you that you, that this is something you need to do this is something you need to heal from but you have been restricting it you've been blocking it but maybe it's time you start listening to your gut warrior woman if you weren't afraid what would you do and the ever unfolding rose cracked open is happening for you not to you. these two are the most powerful cards out there what would you do if you weren't afraid virgo ask yourself right now in every aspect of your life what would you do right now if you weren't afraid because guess what 
whatever shitty circumstances you're in right now, whatever shitty circumstances you've been in, it is happening for your benefit so that you can evolve and grow. It's so you can crack open and go back to who you're meant to be. Get your power back. But are you going to be scared and not learn from this, not heal from it? Or are you going to be this warrior, man or woman, doesn't matter. There's that beautiful book, Who Moved My Cheese, right? What would you do if you weren't afraid? And that's what I'm leaving you with, Virgo. July is all about that. And this is a love reading, but it affects every aspect of your life because everything, love is also romantic love, but it's for family love, is love for yourself, is love for your job, is love for your life. It all is affected by the basis of your own self-love. So what would you do, Virgo, right this minute if you weren't afraid? And I just saw 11-11. Take care. Goodbye.